New tonight, it kicks off the first weekend to explore the new St. Pete Pier and the new marketplace opened this morning to help promote local small businesses. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live there now. Sarah, city leaders are taking extra precautions to keep people safe out there, right? Hey, Wendy. Yeah, that's right. It's been very busy out here today, but they are capping attendance. Take a look. This is the area that people can come in here to the St. Pete Pier, and they are capping that attendance at 10,000 a day. But the good news is I just checked and there are still spots available tonight and throughout the weekend. Greetings from Florida. From hyper local artwork to fresh baked goodies and unique t-shirt designs, the new St. Pete Pier Marketplace features 17 small businesses. It's the first thing you'll see as you approach the new iconic St. Pete Pier. This is a huge opportunity for our small local, bu local business. As a native of St. Pete, I'm very excited to be a part of the new pier. I've been coming to the pier since I was a little kid. St. Pete leaders whittled down from a list of 70 applicants. Eventually, this open air market will feature 30 vendors. I think it's critical at a time like this. You know, we have such a great small business community here in the Tampa Bay area. They need our support more now than ever. With local events and fairs canceled because of the pandemic, many of these mom and pop shops tell us they're just barely scraping by. We survived. We didn't get any of the big money. <laughs> <laughs> so we just uh, had to let our employees go and work it ourselves. The plan is to swap vendors out periodically, helping as many small businesses as possible. It's been tough to get new clients, so I'm, I'm super excited about this opportunity uh, to give us that exposure again and, and be in front of more people. As for the shoppers, the feeling is mutual. It's great to be out after being quarantined in the house. <laughs> it was good to be out. Now, if you are headed out to the St. Pete Pier, they're asking you to wear one of these masks, and they also have several of these hand sanitizer stations available for you to use. Reporting in St. Pete at the new pier, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah